this is Rick Cassell. I want to say hello to everyone from Mark Young Training Systems that's reading Mark's blog. Uh, so I'm going to go through one exercise that I really like that ends up addressing uh, the decrease in internal rotation that is often seen in individuals. So this is kind of an extension of the blog, the guest blog post that I did for Mark Young's blog. So the blog post should be above or maybe below. It's definitely not to the left or definitely not to the right. But let me get to the exercise. So it's, a, it's kind of a, a modification to the 80s exercise of knee side to side. That exercise is kind of vanished just like leg warmers in aerobics. We don't do that exercise anymore. I've kind of done a modification on that exercise in order to address uh, internal external rotation of the hip, specifically internal rotation. So let me, well, I'll describe the exercise to you. I end up lying on my back and I end up separating my knees, starting off with about hip width apart, and then I end up dropping the knees uh, to one side and then the other. The focus ends up being kind of working on the internal external rotation of the hip. So it's different than the feet together, knees together, dropping knees to side to side, which ends up focusing, uh, putting a lot of stress on the lower back. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So that's the exercise that I end up getting a lot of people to do. It's a simple exercise. It's an easy exercise to do. They can do it any, anywhere. A lot of times I suggest people to do it when they're watching television. And how many repetitions I get them to do, roughly five on each side. And what I'm getting them to do is drop the knees to one side, focusing on the internal external rotation of the hip, feeling kind of resistance holding for a second, and then moving to the other side. An important modification that I end up doing, or an extension to the exercise, is starting to add more and more abduction. So initially, it's about hip width apart that I have the legs, but then I start ex expanding that hip abduction. So maybe like 20 degrees, uh, more like 15 degrees, 30 degrees, and then like 45 degrees. So let me quickly show you. So looking at a hip width apart, I'll separate a little bit more, go side to side, I'll separate even more, going side to side, and then separating even more, going side to side. So that's a modification that I end up doing, I'm trying to work my way to about 45 degrees abduction and working on that internal external rotation of the hip. And the key part that I'm working on is that internal part. And as they do more and more repetitions, they should end up getting more and more range of motion. So this is Rick Casals from ExercisesForInjuries.com signing off. So I hope, uh, you know, thank you very much, Mark, for the guest blog post on your blog. And please do make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, what you liked about the exercise, what you didn't like about the exercise, what you liked about the blog post. We did. So this is Rick Cassell from ExercisesForInjuries.com signing off saying take